Good evening, everybody. Sammy Thunder here. Welcome back to the channel. And tonight, I have for you a video of my fourth SGC submission. I picked out 10 cards overall from my collection that I wanted to get graded for preservation purposes and for the curiosity of what they'll grade. I picked out three vintage basketball cards from my collection and seven vintage baseball cards to send in. I think y'all will enjoy the cards that I picked out and I'm also going to give you my predictions, the range in regards to what I believe they will grade and when they come back in we will do a re big reveal. So without further ado, before we get started, if you are new to the channel please hit that subscribe and the notification bell to be in the know for future videos. I will be going to the East Coast National uh, at the end of the month. I do a lot of uh, baseball card show and store experiences. So if y'all are into that, into budget videos that I do, definitely hit that subscribe button. Starting with the list, I wanted to showcase the basketball first. You can probably already see some of the f a few of the cards that I've picked out, but we'll start with this one, which is the, the Fleer 1961 Sam Jones rookie card. Originally, I was not planning on getting the other Boston Celtics cards graded with the exception of the Bill Russell and the Bob Cousy, but I've seen the Sam Jones card getting graded a lot more recently. I think the card overall is in great shape. Some touched up corners, but otherwise, very nice condition. These cards were known for being off-center, so I think they'll be a pretty lenient on the grading. I predicted that the low grade possible from SGC, I think, would grade this at a 3. I'm expecting a 4. The high would be 5, and my miracle would be 6. So anywhere between a 3 and a 6 is my range. The next on the list, these tall boys from 1969 have been getting increasingly more popular. And I got this from a collection from a neighbor in, the, in my neighborhood. Walt Clyde Frazier is no stranger in New York basketball history, still to this day providing color commentary for Knicks basketball games, I believe only home games, I could be wrong. His rookie card has been going through the roof recently. Now in regards to the Walt Clyde Frazier, this one, the corners are in great shape. This is from Topps 1969, so this is classified as his rookie card. The Walt Frazier, I put this at a low of a 3, and I would expect a 4 because of the corners are sharp and the centering is nice. My The high would be a 5, and I would hope for a miracle of a 6. From the same year, I picked out Walt Chamberlain's card. This is the number one card of the set becoming a very popular card in the series and a very expensive one to find. Like the Frazier card, these cards have been going up in value. The centering on this one is very nice. I got this from the same collection from my neighbor. The grade that I predicted for the Wilt Chamberlain, a low would be the two. I'd expect a three. A high would be a four. And my miracle would be a five. Now switching over to baseball, I decided to send this Monty Irvin 54 Tops card in because I've been building the 54 Tops baseball New York Giants team set. I purchased this from a shop. I overpaid for it. I paid about 80 to 90 bucks for this card. I classified the grade as a low would be a four. In an expectation, I'd expect a five a high of a 6, and a miracle of a 7. The next card, we have Rube Marcard, Hall of Fame New York Giant pitcher. Rube Marcard, Hall of Famer from the pre-war days, T206. A low would be an A, for it would be an uh, authenticated. 
I would expect a 1 being the poorest condition possible, the high would be a 2, and the miracle would be a 3. This one's from the Sweet Corporal Cigarettes. I purchased this one. I want to say I purchased this one off of a Facebook group for like about 100 bucks. Next on the list, I picked up this Don Drysdale rookie card at the National for about I don't know, $85, let's say. For Don Drysdale, I predicted that the low would be a 2. My expectation is a 3 because it's off-center. The high would be a four, and the miracle hope would be a five. Here we have a Topps 1958 second year Brooks Robinson. I showcased this in one of my videos when I went to Stormville. Picked this one up for, I don't know, 150, I think. 150 was the total. The low for this would be a five. I'd expect a six. That's what I was initially predicting when I first bought it. The high would be a 7, and the miracle would be an 8. Next one is the Tops 1959 Bob, or as I call him, Roberto Clemente. I've sent in the Willie Mays 59. I've sent in the Mickey Mantle 59. I've sent in the 59 Bob Gibson. All have returned in condition grades far better than I expected. And I'm really hoping that the Clemente kind of follows that same path. A low for the 59 would be a four. My expectation is a five, a high of a six, and my hope is a seven for a miracle. Get to the last two. Here we have the Mickey Mantle All-Star card from Topps 1959. The only downside about this card is on the top right corner, you'll notice there's a crease. And uh, sadly, it goes through the card. You may not see it on the back side. It's very subtle. The low would be a 3. I'd expect a 4 on this. My high would be a 5. And my miracle would be a 6. Last but not least, y'all who have seen... The video at the National where I picked up the Nolan Ryan rookie card. You knew this was coming. I'd be, I told you I'd send this in. And I'm going to be sending in this Nolan Ryan rookie. Paid $4.75 for it. You have a wrinkle, which I don't think goes through the card. You got, well, It's got some edge wear issues. A wrinkle here. A low of a 1. I expect a 2. High of a three, and my miracle grade is a four. So that about does it for the submission. I'm going to send this in as soon as possible. And when they come back, we'll do a reveal. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think of these predictions. I'd love to hear your predictions. Also, don't forget about the giveaway I'm doing right now. I have two vintage packs, uh, cards ranging from the 60s, late 60s and 70s, Hall of Famers and stars in here, two winners for one per pack. Check out the rules on that video. And don't forget to subscribe, y'all, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, subscribe, hit the like, hit the notification bell, be in the know. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hope y'all have a great rest of your night and take care. Thank you.